What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to mine with Simple Miner OS, which is an operating system for mining rigs. Um, and I'm actually mining through the NiceHash pool. Uh, it's most beneficial to me because it pays out in strictly Bitcoins, regardless of what your computer is mining. Um, and for me right now, that's a little bit easier, but I'll show you some other uh, op options as well. So, for starters, um, here's my nice hash right now. So all of these rigs are strictly on Simple Miner. Um, it just went down a little bit, but I'm averaging 0 0.0118 bitcoins. So if I come over here to to Coinbase, I'm averaging $107 a day, which is low, mostly because uh, Bitcoin prices are in the 8,000s now. Uh, they were 15 grand uh, what two weeks ago, and then they've been averaging around 11,000. So the fact that it's at eight is just uh, a little nerve-wracking right now. So there might be some other options we can do. Um, so if I open up Simple Miner OS, um, so this is SimpleMining.com or sorry, SimpleMining.net. Um, these are all the rigs that I have right now. Not all of these are going to what you just looked at. Actually, uh, this rig and this rig um, are going to my cousin's account. But so Simple Mining. Uh, OS is something that you can download right off their main page and put on a flash drive and then you can run it as an operating system. Now the complicated part about this is you might as soon as you plug it in and you start mining um, a rig will pop up here under a random group and a random name and I think it'll just say rig and um, it'll be mining to some random generic pool so you're gonna have to set up a rig group so if you click over to rig group, these are all the ones that I've added so far. And what a rig group is, is it is a group that you can add all of your rigs to that are mining on a specific algorithm to a specific pool. So they're all going to use different miner um, programs. And you'll get in the habit of seeing these names more and more as you get used to this. Uh, and then they're all going to have a configuration file. So if I go down to my nice hash, equihash. So equihash is the algorithm that I use for my GTX 1080 cards, and it mines uh, Zcash. But I'm going to be using the pool nice hash to do so. So if we look at this configuration file, this is pretty complicated, and you're going to have to pretty much copy exactly what this is. And the only thing you'll have to change is um, if you don't want to use nice hash, you're going to have to find out your own your own pool here, your own server. And then you would change your wallet address. Mine goes to my NiceHash wallet. Um, this dollar sign rig name is a generic little string here. So you could put in your rig's name, but if you put dollar sign dot dollar sign rig name, it's gonna pull the rig name that um, you set somewhere else. So it's a little bit easier. The reason you would do it this way is so that you would only have to have one rig group here that all of your cards can run on, and they'll all separate out. So if you were to put white, you know, if your rig's name is white, like one of mine's name is white, uh, I would put white here, but then I would need a new group for red, and I would need a new group for my 12X founders and a new group for my 12 MSI cards. But if you put dollar sign at rig name, you only need one. So uh, this is what a configuration file would look like, and these are kind of complicated because they're all different. So right here I'm using the DSTM. Um, the check mark here is for NVIDIA, and those are the cards that I'm running. And then it tells you right here, it uses Equihash and it mines uh, Zek and Bitcoin Gold. Just a couple examples of what Equihash can mine. So, you know, you create these rig groups, and I have a lot of them here. I also have a um, ZEC through Nano Pool. So if Bitcoin is dropping like it is, real, real bad, um, I would check what the Zcash price is at. And then... I would go to rigs, rig list, and I would check these off, the ones that I have mining to NiceHash. I would go to assign group, and I would go down to ZEC Nano Pool. And it will re it'll reboot the uh, the mining program on the rigs, so I don't have to do anything else. They're going to go through their uh, reboot process, and then they're going to start mining Zcash on Nano Pool, which I have. A link here to my my wallet address that I have in there so you go to nano pool and you don't even have to make an account you just need a uh, if you're mining Zcash you just need a Zcash wallet and if we take a look at this configuration file uh, I'm in the Northeast so I have US and then East one 
nanopool.org, port 6666, user, and then right after user is where I put in my Zcash wallet ID. And then I do the same thing, dot rig name, and then slash email. And I don't, I've never gotten an email from them. I think that's just, you don't need an email because you don't actually sign up with Nanopool. That's more of like if your rig goes down, you'll get an email, but I've never gotten an email from it. So I just put my email in there anyway. Um, so this wallet ID, I, you need to get a, you know, a, whatever program you want to keep your online wallet. Um, and that's where you'd put your wallet ID. So I use Jax as a wallet. And the reason I use Jax as a wallet, it's not my only wallet, but the reason I use Jax um, is because you can have a plethora of different coins in the same wallet. So no matter what kind of coin you want to use, you can pretty much have most of them here. So that's why I use it. But anyway, uh, if I go to Zcash, I took this wallet ID and that's where I put uh, in here. So if we go over to Nanopool, you can see some of my previous um, hash rates down here. It takes about 15 minutes or so for this to uh, to actually start reading that I'm mining right now. So you won't really be able to see that. But the reason I would want to mine Zcash is because the price might be more beneficial than Bitcoin is right now. And I have back up to nine. I don't know what's going on with Bitcoin. Today is February 1st, 2018. Um, this... This is looking pretty unstable at the moment, so I'm not sure that I want to be mining here where I'm only getting paid out in Bitcoins. But, you know, it is what it is. So, through Simple Miner, you're going to need to know some stuff. You're going to need to know, actually, even, even right here, I could actually be, um, this is 0 0.5.7, and it looks like 0 0.5.8 is out. So I could actually take this code I just hit control C and uh, move it up to here and then I'm gonna hit save so I, I'm using a, a higher um, you know what's funny is I'm actually using that on on my nice hash I don't know why I had it on the wrong one here but for you guys if you want to look um, here, let me go to my OneDrive simple mining and then configuration files. I'll see if I can post this in the description. Um, I might just take out, you know, my wallet number and stuff. Um, but these are all of my configuration files that I have so far because these take a while to find out how to create and get them working properly. So if I can save you guys a minute or two or like three weeks, uh, that'd be really ideal, I would imagine. So I'll find a way to post these in the description. I'm also gonna post every card and everything that I have in my rigs on, you know, I buy them all through Amazon. I'll have all of those links in the, in the description. Um, graphics cards have gone up substantially. Um, I bought my GTX 1080 Ti's for $799 a piece. And now they're 1200 You know, they've almost doubled in price. And that was just, you know, three weeks ago. So now it doesn't seem to be a fantastic time to get involved in this because of the price of the graphics cards. Your return on investment is going to be about 220 days, which is, you know, 66% of a year. But, you know, it's, it's hard to say. If you want to get into mining, it seems to be a cool thing. I mean, this number went... A couple weeks ago, not even a couple weeks, last week when Bitcoin was at 11,000, 11,500, this number was $160 a day. And with my other two rigs that my cousin has on here, I was making two, over $200 a day. Um, so the fact that Bitcoin is prices dropped, yeah, that's real, that's real unfortunate. But there's other options. You can mine any coin in the world. You just got to know the algorithms. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, because this whole thing right here can get pretty complicated. Um, another thing real quick is that most of my cards are DTX 1080s, but I do have 12 RX 580s, and those are AMD cards. And AMD cards use um, different algorithms, 
different sorry different miners and different algorithms so the algorithm is dagger hashimoto to mine ethereum and etc uh, so it's pretty much the same thing i'm still mining through nice hash um, but i'm using dagger hashimoto and amd cards and gtx cards mine different things so you got to know what miner name you need and what algorithm you need but that kind of comes with time anyway um any questions you have ask in the description i'm sorry this video was a little dragged out and probably not as ideal as you want it to be but you know let me know how i did let me know if you have any questions i'll be monitoring my youtube pretty much indefinitely so i'll get back to you uh peace out guys